Good evening, family. How's everybody doing today on this Thursday? Hopefully, everybody is doing blessed. Most importantly, having a safe day wherever you guys are chilling at. In this beautiful world that we're living, this is your boy, Hyman G. You guys should already know, on this channel, your boy talks about Doge and overall crypto market news. Now, if you're new to my channel, maybe you can consider to like and subscribe. That's all I ever ask for to help me out with that YouTube algo. Or don't help me at all. I just appreciate you stopping by and checking out my channel as a viewer. None of this is ever financial advice. It's just me yip-yapping, sharing my thoughts and opinions. Nothing more, nothing less. Now, you guys ready to see what's going on in the Wild Wild West crypto land? Let's get it, baby. All right, guys, we're using Coin uh, Gecko today. My coin market cap isn't working for whatever reason. So, all right, guys, Dogecoin ranks number nine. Yes, Shiba Inu is number 10 right on our tail. <laughs> we're currently uh, sitting at 0.2991. Uh, we are up 25.1% for the day. Our 24-hour low today was 23, uh, right before we had that crazy spike. And our 24-hour high is sitting at 0.3377. In some places, right, guys, it was 34 cents, right? But on CoinGecko, they're saying 0 0.3377. Our uh, market cap is sitting at $39.41 billion. And our volume, guys, is way up from what it was yesterday, right? We're at $17.984 billion in the last um, 24 hours. And yesterday, we were sitting at just $4 billion until we had this crazy spike early uh, this morning. All right, guys, now let's dive into the charts and talk about some bullish uh, technicals that we got going on here. All right, guys. Oh, excuse me. Um, all right, guys. Now, as you guys know, I like to look at the daily chart, right? I just, I just like looking at the daily chart. So that's what we're looking at right here, okay, guys? So we're going to talk about this support trend line, which is this pink line, okay? Now, as you can see, right, guys, we have higher lows, higher high, right? And in my opinion, not in my opinion, that's obviously extremely bullish, right? Those are bullish technicals, right? And I've been sharing with you guys on my past couple videos about this support trend line. You know what I mean? I was a little worried, I ain't gonna lie, because we dipped below it right here uh, two days ago, right? Um, quiet. Uh, two days ago, right, guys? You know what I mean? And I said things still look, they look temporary bearish. Unless we break back up above this support trend line. And we indeed broke <laughs> above back this trend line, guys. So like I said, I'm going to repeat it. We got higher lows, higher highs, okay? And that is extremely bullish, okay? Now, that is uh, one bullish thing that we got going on. Our second bullish thing is we have reclaimed the 200-day moving average, right, guys? And we made that as our support. We flipped the trend, okay? So those are two bullish technicals going on. We got high, the higher high, higher, the higher low, higher highs. And we have flipped the trend and made resistance into support. And we regained the 200-day moving average. Now, staying above the 200-day moving average is always extremely bullish for whether it's stocks, crypto, any kind of asset, all right, guys? So those are two extremely bullish things that we got going us okay so the uh support is also coming in at 28 cents guys um which is uh, like i said the 200 day moving average now resistance guys is at 32 cents right which is this yellow line and i'm going to explain to you why now if we backtrack and we go over here right i'm going to show you right we tested it right here 32 cents and we tested basically this whole area right here which is one two three four five six seven eight times right so a total of nine times between these two areas here we tested the level of 32 cents right and then we had that major uh dip right from uh, 32 cents all the way down to about 22 cents right here in this big red candle so that is why in my opinion guys it is 32 cents right and then it is 34 cents right guys so now the reason why i am saying 34 cents after uh this level here right i'm going to show you right now and that is why i think why we stopped right here we wicked right today's wick i'm going to show you right now okay so uh let me make my horizontal line here guys sorry so right here okay guys bam okay so now as you can see over here let me get my doodler so over here guys right that's today we wicked up to 34 cents now if you look over here on Oh, come on, man. On this area, right? Yeah, my thing is acting funny, guys. My bad. Sorry. Oh, yeah, it's acting. Definitely acting up. So, right here. 
right underneath the U, right where it says Doge slash USD. If you see, there's a big green candle and a red candle, right? Right there, that is 34 cents. That is why I think we stop at 34 cents because that is a, a major level of resistance, right? Then that's why we retraced, right? We hit that 34 cent level of strong resistance. But nonetheless, guys, for right now, my opinion, I think we have to break 32 cents before we, we start worrying about 34 cents. So the key takeaway, guys, on the technicals, looking at the chart here, guys, right, is that we have uh, some bullish things going on, right? Such as uh, reclaiming that 200-day moving average and making that into our support. Right, which is no longer resistance, it is now support. And we are uh, forming, uh, we have been forming for a while now some higher lows and higher highs, right? So we got a lot of good things going on as far as the chart goes on the daily, anyways. All right, guys, now that's what I had. I like to keep it, try to keep it easy breezy, beginner friendly when it comes to the charts. Now let's dive into some overall uh, Dogecoin news here. Now it says Dogecoin jumps. 44% in one day as traders rotate Shiba Inu profits into Doge. That's what a lot of people are speculating, right? That that's why the price of Doge shot up was because people were taking profits and going from one meme coin to the other. Now, says so Doge, Doge price rally appeared after Shiba Inu briefly flipped Dogecoin to become the ninth largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization. Yes, you're right, guys. I mean, you heard it right. Shiba Inu did briefly uh, flip Dogecoin, but nonetheless, Dogecoin roared and then took its spot back, right, as king of meme coins. Now, it says Dogecoin soared on October 28th, aiming massive capital rotations out of its top meme rival, Shiba Inu. It says notably Doge price rallied by a little over 44% uh, to reach an intraday high of 34.49, right? Its gains appeared in contrast to Shiba's losses in the same period. On the other hand, the so-called Dogecoin killer dropped almost 28% to log in an intraday low at around 0 0.00057 in the same hour. Doge printed its daily top. The sudden price rally pushed Doge's market capitalization to um, a little over $40 billion, a medal that Shiba Inu achieved hours before with the two cryptocurrencies now neck and neck and currently battling for the ninth place by market cap. Traders also started flocking into uh, Dogecoin markets after hours after Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, and SpaceX posted a new tweet about the meme cryptocurrency. Now, I beg to differ, guys. Now, they're trying to say that this is partially part of the reason, right, because of this... Uh, Tweet here by uh, Shitobi Nakimoto, which is uh, one of the, uh, Billy Marcus, one of the co-founders of of Dogecoin. Right, he put a, a tweet out, and Elon Musk uh, responded. Right, so and they're trying to say that that's a big reason on why it spiked up. I beg to differ. Right, I just believe the Doge army came together and rallied. Right, um, over. You know what I mean? Wasn't having it and had to fight back saying that uh, Shiba Inu, uh, we love the Shiba Inu army and community. I'm part of it as well because I am invested in Shiba Inu. But nonetheless, Doge had to uh, take its spot as number one meme coin. <laughs> you know what I mean? So now it says Musk earlier supported tweets prompted Doge to climb by more than 1500% in the last five months of 2021. Now, let's get into this over here. Now it says around 20 Point eight million Doge rep. Now says Dogecoin's price moves also caught derivatives traders off guard as they lost about twenty point eight billion in total liquidations across the previous twenty four hours. Right, so they're basically talking about longs and shorts. Now says around eighteen point seven billion uh, million dollars worth of liquidations emerged out of leveraged long bets after uh, Doge's price dropped and it's to its weekly low of twenty one on twenty one cents on this Wednesday. In contrast, the ongoing twelve hour time frame saw bears taking more losses than bulls, with eight point nine million uh, worth of um, of bearish Dogecoin bets against liquidating against five point two million worth of bullish bets concerning the same token. So obviously, guys, almost three million uh, dollars more of um, of bear of the bears were liquidated than the longs nonetheless all together right guys i mean it was five for the longs and 8.9 for the shorts ha ha bears now nah. but nonetheless guys it's never nice losing money so always freaking know what if you don't know what you're doing don't leverage trade man simple as that on the it says now on the on the whole, however, Dogecoin traders were the majority short in the previous 24 hours with FTX and OKX users turning out to be exceptionally bullish with 58% and 77 of their net positions skewed long, respectively. A sudden bearish reversal in the Shiba Inu market also led to Shiba liquidations worth $31.41 million, the third highest among all cryptocurrencies in the previous 24 hours. Now, Postly XBT 
an independent market analyst, warned about excessive leverage in both Shiba and Doge markets. Play spot and not leverage, he said, adding the volatility could quite easily wipe out before a big move intended in intended direction uh i i agree guys you know what i mean i've been wrecked plenty of times you know what i mean by over leveraging you know what i mean so like i said if you're gonna trade man you shouldn't uh just you know what i mean just uh maybe spot don't do uh leverage you know what i mean all right guys now let's get into this other article here all right now, says Shiba Inu remains below Dogecoin as rally falters. Now, says Dogecoin is one is once again the biggest Doge themed cryptocurrency after surging more than 25%, which we read, right, which 44% basically. It says its arc rival, Shiba Inu, has shed some of its recent gains after pulling off the great meme coin flipping on Wednesday. At press time, the gap between the market capitalization of Dogecoin and Shiba Inu is $3.4 billion, according to CoinMarketCap data. The two cryptocurrencies are in ninth place, retrospectively. All right, guys. So, basically, they're right on our tails, guys. We're still number nine, but Shiba's coming for us, guys. That Shiba army is coming for us. You know what I mean, guys? So, we got a lot of go going for Doge right now, guys. You know what I mean? Things are looking bullish on the daily charts. You know what I mean? As far as I'm concerned. All right, guys. Now, that's as far as what I had for uh, Dogecoin news. Now, we're going to briefly go through some uh, crypto news really quick. Okay, guys? All right. Let me see if it loads up real quick. My thing, my my uh, damn phone is acting up, man. I don't know what is up with the deal. It's just maybe it's time for a new phone, right? Man, man, man. Oh, my God. Thank you, guys. Hold on, man. What the hell? What the hell's going on? All righty, let's try it this way. Let me see if I can do it this way. All right, all right, here we go. Now, it says more than a third of Goldman interview uh, interns view crypto as an asset class. Now, guys, obviously, why? Because a lot of these interns are probably obviously young, maybe Gen Z's, up-and-coming people, right? And that is a good thing, right? Because people that are going to replace these old geezers, right, that are going to retire out of Goldman and Sachs and JP Morgan and all these uh, well-known uh, entities here in America, right? They're going to be replaced with younger people. And, you know, hopefully the younger people will be into crypto. And here, here is starting to show you a third of Goldman interns are, uh, they view cryptos as an asset class, which is good, right? So things will change, right? Because that is the way the world is going, guys. Things are going to go digital. Uh, we're going to be into digital assets and they're here to stay, whether people like it or not. You know what I mean? So I just wanted to briefly point that out. Now, uh, right here, I like this one here, right? This is by uh, Willie Wu, right, guys? He's a very well-known, respected analyst. Now, it says Bitcoin bull market could go on for another year, according to on-chain analyst Willie Wu. Now, it says popular on-chain analyst Willie Wu says that recent Bitcoin accumulation trends mean that crypto bull run could last for another year, right, guys? You know what I mean? Things uh, possibly can change, right? Why? Because we have institutional hedge funds. We have big money in crypto now not like last uh having right in last bull run it was more retailers uh investment investing now you have a lot more deeper pockets that have money and are willing to spend big money and that's why i believe obviously with the on-chain anal uh analytics you know what i mean um but i think that that's playing a big role is because of the hedge funds institutional investors so on and so forth but it's saying it can go for another year man so it's not too late to invest right guys none of this is financial advice all right guys uh let me see here oh okay here we go now i'm gonna end close with this one this is back again third largest bitcoin whale bought 37 million in bitcoin after staying on the sidelines for a few weeks the third largest bitcoin whale has purchased another sizable chunk of bitcoin this goes to show you guys man the whales are still buying the dip when it dips or whatever the case may be whether it, it, you know what i mean the point i'm making guys is bitcoin cryptocurrencies is here to stay man there's life-changing wealth that is going to be made. I hope my video was informative and helpful and useful. Guys, if it was, please consider to like and subscribe. Your boy Jaime G is out. Until tomorrow, stay safe and stay blessed. Much love. Peace out, guys.